Most people think that you have to be dripping wet with sweat and killing yourself with hardcore HIIT weight training or cardio exercises. But in reality, that's not what you need to lose weight. What you really need to do is put yourself at a calorie deficit. That's it. I'm done. Video's over. Mic drop is weight training and cardio and HIIT exercises, are they beneficial? Yes, of course they are. But are they absolutely necessary for you to lose weight? No. So let's get into that. So how do you get yourself in a calorie deficit? So I use an app called Chronometer. There are other apps like MyFitnessPal that you can log into, put all of your stats, your height, your weight, your age, everything, and it will give you what your maintenance calories should be. With both of these apps, you can go in and use a setting that allows you to set how much weight you want to lose in a week. So I recommend 0.5 to one pound a week so that you're not setting your calories too low and you're not setting your calories too high and able to lose weight. This will truly be a trial by error process when you're adjusting your calories so that you can hit the goals that you wish to obtain. Now, don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not telling you that you can sit on the couch watching TV and eat a bag of Cheetos and stay under your calories and lose weight. You might lose weight, but it is not gonna be beneficial for your health. You need to be eating things like lean proteins, like chicken, turkey burger, tuna, fishes. You need to be eating carbs, healthy, good carbs, like sweet potatoes or whole grains, whole grain rice, veggies like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And then for your healthy fats, they are very vital to muscle production and fat loss. So things like avocado, hemp seeds, and chai seeds are all good in healthy fats. If you need a better breakdown of these macronutrients, check out the video that we have on this channel on setting up your macros using the Chronometer app. Now, I'm not telling you to get rid of every unhealthy thing in your house and get rid of all the unhealthy food that you have in your house. Yes, you want to do that, but you want to do it slowly because getting rid of all of that stuff right off the bat, cold turkey, is going to eventually lead to a downfall. It does take time to wean yourself away from that, wean yourself away from the sugars, the sodas, all of that. But you can do it, and I know that you can do it because I've done it you will slowly see your desire for those foods to decrease and the foods that are better for you will increase. Now, if you're somebody that wants to do more than just lose weight, say you wanna build muscle or strength or cardiovascular health, all of which are great ideas to do, then start slowly, lifting or using resistance bands two or three times a week, walking daily, or doing some cardio maybe two or three times a week. All of these will be beneficial for your overall health. But like I said, they are not necessary to lose weight. The great thing about them though, is that you will build muscle. And the more muscle you build, the faster you will burn fat because muscle burns fat. So let me recap the ways to lose weight. One, find out your maintenance calories. Use, a, use an app like Chronometer, MyFitnessPal, and the reason I use those two is because they're the two I'm the most used to using. Uh, Chronometer is my favorite because I do track my macros. So utilizing one of those to track your calories, decreasing that, and it will also help you track your weight as well. Set your calorie deficit. Again, I recommend starting at 500 calories. This again is going to be a trial and error process. If 500 calories less, you're not seeing the results, take a little bit more off. If 500 calories is too much and you still find yourself hungry, then add a little bit of cardio, add a little bit of weight training, things like that, that will help to put you in that calorie deficit. Number three, this one's important. Take pictures. Take before pictures, take after pictures, because the scale does not always tell the whole truth. I've seen myself not lose any weight for two weeks, but if I looked at the pictures from week one to the second week, you can see the difference in your clothes. You can see the difference in the pictures. So make sure you're taking your pictures. Remember when you are taking your pictures, use the same poses, try to use the same angles 
And also stay consistent with the clothes that you're taking the pictures in. That is a big key. Number four, start removing unhealthy items slowly. And I say do this slowly, again, so that you don't do this cold turkey and jeopardize your entire plan. Reward yourself for you eating better by just having a little bit of something good that you like. Number five, stay under your calorie deficit by eating whole foods and lean meats, as well as your healthy fats. Lean proteins will help you stay fuller longer. Number six, have fun with it. Eat a variety of foods. This is not a diet. This is a lifestyle change. Think of when you're eating, try to make the rainbow on your plate. The more colorful foods, more than likely, especially with fruits and vegetables, the better they are for you. Number seven, strength training, weight training, resistance training, cardio training it is not necessary to lose weight. But again, it does help you to build muscle, increase your overall health, and muscle burns fat. Hey guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is the first video of 2024. We appreciate all of your support. As we continue our weight loss journey, we wanna help you. Our goal this year is to help at least five people get to at least 20 pounds or more, depending on what their goal is and what their size is. So if you are that person, absolutely reach out to us in the comments. I'm gonna put my email here at the end of the video. Also, so make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and as always, God bless you guys.